the Hebrew Israelites come out week in and week out to preach the downfall of America, which is known as Babylon in the scriptures, all right, as commissioned by the Most High for his men, the real men of the Lord, what they're going to be doing in the last times, because we're on the last days, man. That's right. And so what, what's going to happen is the men of the Heavenly Father are going to come out here to proclaim it boldly, all right, in the face of that, all, the, all you naysayers, all you scorners, all you scoffers, man, all right? We're we'll going come out here just to preach the word as commissioned by the Heavenly Father and also to wake up the real uh, nation of Israel, which consists of you Negroes, Latinos, and so-called Native Americans, man. Not those gutter rats over there in Israel. You actually make up the true uh, uh, Israelites of the Bible. That's right, Archie. Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud. Spare not. Lift up thy voice like the trumpet. Right, and so that's what the men of the Lord are going to do, man. All right, we're going to cry aloud and we're not going to spare your feelings. You may feel. All right, the scripture we're here to make you feel bad, man. It's to prove correction. So we're gonna cry loud and lift up our voice, man. Because that's what real men do. Men lift up their voice. They're not talking soft like a woman, like a pansy, man. You know, you gotta talk like a man. That's what's wrong with this society. You raise your voice and people think you're yelling a man. No, you're talking like men out here. That's right, man. Go ahead. And show my people their transgression. Right, and show the Lord's people their transgression. Go ahead. In the house of Jacob, their sins. Right, so we're out here to show the house of Jacob their sins. Like I said, the, uh, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. All right, we're out here to show the Lord's people their transgressions. Which, what is a transgression? It's sin. What is sin? Transgression of the law. Huh. So the law is still here in effect here, but the people don't uh, uplift that here in America. Right. Why? Because it's the most wicked society that's ever been uh, placed upon the face of the earth. That's right. It's ever been lifted up, man. All right. Let me tell you about Nathan. Jeremiah 28 8, the prophets that have been before me and the prophets and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Right, and so that's what you're supposed to do, man. The prophets that have been before have prophesied those things, so the prophets are going to do that today. The scriptures say that the spirit of the prophets is subject to the prophets. Okay. So you're going to be doing the same thing that they did back in the day. All right? which is preaching the downfall of every kingdom that the Most High wasn't with. And you can best believe that the Most High is not with America. That's right, man. All right, the Most High has determined to destroy America. That's right, that. Why is that? Because of all the wickedness that's been pushed up. Okay, all the hypocrisy that goes on in America each day. You people claim to be uh, Christians and follow the Bible and be so godlike and upright and moral, but everything that's uplifted and portrayed here in this society is against the scriptures, man. And just for that alone, this place is going to be destroyed, man. That's right. You got homosexuals running around rampant. Uh, all, all homosexuals getting married in 50 states now. Uh, the woman is put up above the man here. Yep. Women have been told they can be sluts and that's okay. That that's somehow sexy now. Instead of being a, a meek, quiet, obedient woman. That's right. Uh, help me to the man. Everything is turned completely upside down around here, man. And so I hear the prophesy of war and evil of pests coming to this place, man. Because because what the scriptures say, pride coming before destruction. Huh. This is the most proud nation ever existed. So this, the only next step for America is to be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. Second Ezra's, Second Ezra's 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Right, and that's what the real prophets of the Heavenly Father are going to do, man. We're going to speak words of prophecy according to the Bible. Okay, we're not going to come out here and come out of our heart and talk about what dreams we had and tell you something that's going to make you feel good, man. The prophecies weren't put here for that. The scripture says, through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. So these prophecies are coming to pass, so bad things are going to be happening here in these times, man. And they're already happening. There's all the race riots are popping up. Yep. Okay? Uh, niggas are getting shot all day, every day, like it's duck hunting out here by the police. Yeah. Okay, all these things are happening, man. The dollar's devaluing. Uh, these other nations are rising up against America. Okay, so nothing good is coming here, man. Right. And so those are the real prophecies, the prophecies of destruction as prescribed in the scriptures that are written down by the prophets. That's right. Yeah. That's right. It says, uh, which I will put in my mouth, said the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper. Right, so he puts the words in our mouths. We come out here and speak, we don't come out here and speak out of our own heart. We come out here and speak the words of the Heavenly Father, man. And that's how the men of the Lord are going to be justified in that day. Right. Okay, bro. 
it says, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Right, because the words are faithful and true. How is that? Because these prophecies are actually coming to pass. Right. Okay? It's being proven day in and day out that this Bible is speaking the truth and it's a true book. Kind of. Go ahead. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Okay, so, uh, so start, start that first, okay. Verse three, fear not the imaginations against thee. Right, so we're not gonna fear the imaginations that are coming against us, man. All you people walking by, smile, smirking, shaking your head, we know through your countenance that you imagine uh, horrible things against us, man. Yeah. Because we are here, all we're doing out here is telling the truth. We tell you, we're actually showing a, a labor of love to you guys, man. Right. That's Even right. to you other nations. Okay, we're telling you beforehand what's gonna happen to you. That's right. So we're actually giving you a way to go ahead and live it up and go ahead and let, let go of those inhibitions, man, and go and do it big, man. That's right. Like it's 1999, have a fun, ball the hell out. Go max out credit cards, visit Disney World, do whatever you're gonna do. Okay, because in that day when the Lord comes back, he's gonna destroy anyone that's not a part of the elect of a nation of Israel, man. That's right. Okay. Okay. I got something for you real quick. We talking about the prophecies. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11. So shall my word be that going forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void. Right, so the Lord uh, uh. said it's going forth out of his mouth Ooh. and it's not going to return unto him void. Because what the Lord says, he, uh, it says it's going to happen. It's going to happen. He's a man of his word. Right there. But it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Right, so that, that's going to prosper, man. So he said America's going to be destroyed. America's going to be destroyed. He said that the nation of Israel was going to go into slavery on slave ships. That happened. Okay, he said uh, a woman shall surpass a man. That's going to happen. You know? That's crazy. That was it on that. Oh, this is big. You know, 2 Ezra 15 and 4. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Three selection. Uh, second Ezra 15 and 3. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. Right, the incredulity was that unbelief. Okay, actually a, a willingness to unbelieve. So these people are willingly ignorant and willingly fighting against the truth, man, not to believe it. Okay? Because we said, because when the scriptures are coming out, man, you can tell those demons are bubbling up, man, so that, that pride comes in at that time. So you people will really fight against it, man, because of your pride. The most I had you doing that, so he's justified in destroying all of you, man. Exactly, because if I can say this too, when you were saying earlier, we're nothing more than the men that were set up from old to come out here and preach the, the most highest words, not our own word. So the way that you take it when you pass by, that could be a part of your judgment. The most I could use uh, the way your incredulity, your unbelief, uh, to, to, to judge you, you know? Because the scriptures also talk about every idle word that a man shall speak, he shall give an account thereof in the day of judgment. So, because you're not speaking against us, per se, when you uh, make your little uh, mark, remarks, uh, your comments on the keyboard, you actually coming against the words of the Heavenly Father because that's that's our whole uh, foundation of what we believe in. It's, it's based on the words of truth, a prophecy. That's right. Not our own words, man. That's right. That's, right. that's the biggest that's thing, man. That's the biggest thing that we're trying to convey to people, man. This book was written a thousand years ago for our learning, man. And we understand that everything is happening in these scriptures, man. That's why we're such a big threat because we have the Most High as let us understand this mystery. Come. And yep. we were such a wasn't a, such a problem. Why are we have FBI agents out here? Yep. Trying to set us up. What are we what are we saying that's 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 such a uh, uh if we're so crazy, what are we saying that's so vicious that make them want want to surveil us, man? Come on, because we're speaking the truth. There is there is uh, uh, wars, uh, wars, room wars going on. There is people rising up against one another, man. Heck, you go to uh, look at the situation in Europe, man. You have a, a immigration uh, a crisis from Syria. Now and that's getting so bad. Well, uh, Hungary and I believe it was uh, French, if I'm not mistaken. Excuse me for going off. Stop them from coming in, man. It's like no, we, we can't we can't afford to have all y'all people, man. Uh, the, the the dollar is hella volatile. One that one minute is this price, that minute is that price, man. Uh -huh. Everything is happening according to these scriptures, man. That's right, huh? And that the truth is the, is, the, is the biggest problem on planet Earth because this world is ran in deceit, right? Right, we're shining out through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim al Shah, man. We're shining all the light and all this wickedness, man. And these elites hate it, man. 
because they know it's true and they can tell. They they got all knowledge and they, and they able to survey the stars and they see the chariots coming. So they know what we're saying is true, man. And they ass getting scared even though they're trying to act like they're not, man. Yeah, and you see proof in the pudding uh, in, in the way that this damn clown Alex Jones has capitalized off us, man. Starting with our elders, you know, who was out preaching the word first on YouTube in the in the capacity and the, the veracity as far as truth and faith that they doing, you know, and, and on down to the younger brothers in the perspective great millstone camps, man. A lot of these prepping Edomites, man, they wouldn't know what the hell is going on if it weren't for us. If they didn't understand that this is actually truth. But everything that you start with the elders was out preaching from the words of the Heavenly Father, some of these things have already come to pass. Come. You know? First Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 8. He therefore that despises it, despises it not man. Right, so if you just if you despise us, all you people walk around with your smirks, uh calling the cops on us, throwing things at us, you, you're not despising us. Go ahead. He that despises it, despises not man, but the most high. Right, so you despise the most high, man. You're not doing anything to us. You know you are sort of doing something physically, but you uh -huh. know ultimately you fight against the heavenly father, man. Right, so we're not doing out here but speaking the words that he get and he put in our mouths. Right. Okay, and so and you're gonna have to pray for that that day. Okay, it's gonna be total utterly dis destruction, man. Destruction, uh torture. Everything, man. Right. Be a concentration camp, be a famines, be a race riots. Uh, ultimately, it ended up in the nuclear destruction. That's right, bro. Okay, so you got to fight against us. Okay, you hate the you hate Look at this. hate the Helen Brother. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Oh, Look at this nigga. <laughs> you so <laughs> so called white people, man. Y'all just there had to be a higher power for, for us to be taken down by y'all, man. <laughs> Talk about it in Daniel, how he set the bases of being yeah. over us. Yeah, most I did, I set the bases of organism on the planet, man, over us, man. Oh, I see. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going to read it. Uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 8. He therefore that despiseth, despiseth, despiseth not man, but the Most High, who hath also given us, given unto us his Holy Spirit. Right, so he gave us the Spirit. Well, Holy Spirit, what is that? The understanding of these words and how these scriptures break them down, man. Also, the faith. Come out here and preach it. Okay, he, he gave us because faith is a gift according to Ephesians 2 and 8. So he gave us that gift, and you people are coming out here shitting on that gift, man. And you're going to have to pray for that that day. You're going to have to give a counter of every idle thought, every idle word, like the brother uh, said earlier. Right? Okay? Uh, Ezekiel 3, and 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Right, so the most I made made the men of the Lord made us watchmen, man, but unto the house of Israel, and chiefly the elect. Okay, because like I said, popular contrary belief, salvation isn't for everybody. Everybody's not going to get the understanding of these scriptures, man. Okay, contrary to what they teach in those the whorehouses called churches. Okay? Go ahead. Therefore hear the word, therefore hear the word at out my mouth and give them warning from me. Right, so we're hearing the words out of the Heavenly Father's mouth and we come out here to warn our people. Like you read in Isaiah 58 and 1. We just come out here and give you the message, man. Okay, tell you get it right. Because the most I hear is on its way back to the shortest place. You ain't gonna get that message nowhere else. Man. No, no, you gonna get, the only message you gonna get in those other places is uh, do what thou will. You live on, you only live once. Yeah. You're gonna get that house. You're gonna get that car that you always dream yeah, about. Man. Come. Yeah, man. And our people are so crazy. They say that they believe in a high power. They just can't fathom, uh, fathom that the most high is doing all these things on the planet. Earth. Right. He's allowing these things to happen. If, if you believe in God, then you have to ask yourself, why is all these things happening? What's going on? I mean, I know there's a being in the sky. I mean, I don't, I don't subscribe to the Big Bang Theory. What's going on? But they see us out here, and they say, oh, that can't be right, because God is love. But they ain't never been hatred on planet Earth for centuries, man. <laughs> Can I get something for you real quick? God. Hey, you have it yet? Uh, do the turtle, the turtle, the turtle most high with the sway, man. Exactly, exactly. Get that real quick. That's right, man. Because the most high is the terrible being. The most high has the ability to destroy you uh, or to build on you, man. It's through his, it's through his, uh, his wound. You have to reference that, man. You have to govern yourself according to a certain huh. way that he wants you to, man. That's real, I think. So what's going on on planet Earth? Everybody had this notion of, of, of what God is. But it's not according to knowledge, it's not according to the law, statute, huh. and commandments. 
how people have zeal, but they don't have knowledge. Every God just love everything. He just giving everybody depths. Meanwhile, planet Earth is in uh, shambles. And he doesn't have the ability to change it. Or maybe this is part of his plan. Uh, just maybe. Right? You, you have it up? Not, not, what, I, what, I'm saying, what I'm saying, what I'm like the brother going into, you hear all these things, how the Lord say, everything, all of the prophecies, none shall want to make. My words shouldn't come, ain't gonna come back to me void. He's telling you how powerful he is. So what would that make a normal person do? You know what I'm saying? Fear. Fear, right? Okay. The fear of the most high is the beginning of wisdom, according right. to the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? So when you hear about all these terrible things that's coming and all these plagues and all that stuff, what is it going to make you do if you are honest, if you honestly sincere about what's going, in the world, sure. going on in the world? When you hear about the terror of the Lord, what is it going to make you do? It's oh, going to make you repent, first of all, and then it's going to make you get one of these. And you're going to try to get some understanding about yourself and go out there and teach because you know that that's what's prescribed for the men of the Lord. That's the first thing you're going to do. You, you know what I'm saying? saying? You're going to try to figure out, damn, what I, what I fit in this spectrum. If there's going to be judgment, what do I fit in? Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like exactly. the said, find, exactly. find out who the heck you are, man. That's right. Yeah. All right, bring it out. This is 2 Corinthians 11 and 5. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. We've been persuaded. The elders was persuaded. Come. New York, LA, Chicago, Texas, Florida, Holland, England. Come. All them brothers was persuaded through the terror, of, through the, through the fear of the Most High. Come. You know what I'm saying? Somebody get the uh, the fear of the Most High is the beginning of wisdom in Sirach. Go ahead. Yeah. This is uh, Hebrews 10 and 31. Yep. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands Man. of the living power. Ooh. That's what I'm saying. And when you know this is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, knowing what's coming to this place, the best thing you can do if you truly sincere and don't want to be a part of that is right. first of all, repent, acknowledge your faults, where you fucked up at. You know what I'm saying? You can't do nothing before you do that. Sure. Acknowledge right. that you wicked, pray to the most high for forgiveness as much as you can. You know what I'm saying? And then try to fulfill his will to the best of your ability. Come. You know what I'm saying? We got plenty of examples of our forefathers that had messed up big time. You know what I'm saying? And they went to the Heavenly Father and was like, look, I, I, I'm Man. sorry. I know, I know I fucked up. <laughs> Sincerely repent. You know what I'm saying? Somebody got that in Sirach? I, I believe the most high is the beginning of the wisdom. I believe that's like chapter two or something like that. I know it's a proverb. I'm gonna read this one. Yeah. Right, this is 2 Corinthians 5 and 11. I got you right here. Oh, you got it? Hold on, finish this. Okay. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, uh -huh. we persuade men. Knowing the terror of the Lord, not guessing. Not hoping he ain't mean as everybody. There's too many people out here that's hoping the Lord ain't as mean as we say right. he is. Yeah, you know? real talk. <laughs> real talk. That's crazy. It's a knowing. I, that's real. Knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Yeah. So I know good and well if I don't preach this truth, the Lord gonna burn me up. That scares me to death. It scares me more than any of these mother effers out here. Right. I tell you that. Go ahead. Was it more than that? God, it's a little bit more. But we are made manifest unto the Most High, mm -hmm. and our trust also are made manifest in your consciousness. That's what I'm saying, man. We fear the Most High to the point to where you know you can't do nothing but bow down. Come. You know what I'm saying? The same message these people heard, I heard the same message. You know what it made me do? Shit. It made me repent. Right. It made me want more than the, the American dream. The American dream ain't gonna do nothing but get you killed, homie. It's just a dream. You know what I'm saying? You got that as, uh... I got you right here. Huh? All right. It's Proverbs 1 and 7. The fear of the Most High is the beginning of knowledge. The fear of the Most High is the beginning of knowledge. When you acknowledge the power as strong as Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, the best thing you can do is get in line and get in order with what he's talking about. Because all he's talking about is how much ass he's going to whoop when he come back. Yeah, that's right. You know what I'm saying? How many people going to die that ain't right? taking vengeance on them that know not God. Come. The people that don't know the Most High have no fear. Right. You know what I'm saying? The fear of the Most High. Come. The fear of the Most High is the beginning of knowledge, That's man. Real, right? You can't learn that until you have that fear. And the, through the fear, through the terror of the Most High, we persuading men. Come. That's how the elect is going to be sealed, by the fear of the Most High, man. You know what I'm saying? And what is that fear going to make you do once you acknowledge your faults and acknowledge your weakness? Somebody get Daniel chapter 4 and start at the top. You know what I'm saying? And then somebody get the prayer of Manasseh and the Apocrypha. We're going to show you how to repent, man. Because at the end of the day, man, we can get on these people all we want, which is a part of the doctrine. But you also have to talk to the elect of the nation of Israel who's going to receive this. Go ahead and feel the need to repent and do so. That's right. You know what I'm saying? 
Let's get up. Uh, uh, Romans 15 and 4 before we go to Daniel. Daniel's four. Romans 15 and 4. Get that real quick. I got Daniel. You got Daniel chapter 9, you're going to start at the top. Oh, nine. Yeah. Romans. This is Romans chapter 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. You're going to start at 5. 